Hello and welcome from Gurgel, the Diamond of the Alps. We're here at this stunning location, around 3,000 meters above sea level, and we're here to meet a man who has made history this year, Mr. Dave Riding, the slalom star, the first Brit ever to win a World Cup race, and Gurgel is his second home. We're going to get to know Dave a little bit better and enjoy this jaw-droppingly beautiful scenery. I'm sure Dave's going to be here any moment. He's a pretty fast guy. Wow! Hi, David! Yeah. Welcome at the Top Mountain Cross Point. Hey, Dave. Hey. Dave, easy rider riding, motor biking as well. You have a lot of talents. And uh, thank you so much for inviting me for a day skiing with Britain's biggest ski star. Yeah, it's a, it's a ski paradise out here and uh, more than fortunate to call this my winter home as such. So yeah, let's uh, hit the slopes soon and make the most of it. Yeah, there's more to enjoy than just the car park. Let's get skiing. <laughs> Perfect place, perfect day. Yeah. Dave, I was so excited when you won that World Cup race in Kitzbühel. So many Brits, so many non-Brits. What an amazing day. Do, do you feel it's changed your life? Uh, no, not really. You know, I am a bit more well-known, obviously, but uh, I like my life how it is. So, yeah, I'd, I'm not going to change too much. But um, it's nice when you can come up to the the top of the world up here and uh, enjoy just uh, everyday things. So no call from the Queen yet. I can still call you Dave, not yeah. Sir Dave. Yeah, I'm still just Dave. <laughs> you broke another record that day. You were the oldest winner of a World Cup slalom race. How do you keep going at, um, I'll call it a mature age, you know, you're, yeah. you're competing with the elite when you're of the older generation of skiers. How do you do it? Yeah, my body's still good, so I can do the training. I have more teammates now, which helps push me every day and bring that top level more often and yeah I guess that's what's working. I feel you're hitting the gym when we're hitting the après ski. Yeah I've got to I've got to make sure I'm not having too much après ski but you celebrate the good times and then hit the gym the next day and yeah work has to go on. We have a perfect day today let's go and enjoy more of it. Huh? Yeah let's go. <laughs> Hey, wow, what a day and what a place. I genuinely think this is my favorite view in the entire Alps, it's pretty special. Yeah, I'd have to agree. I mean, you can't beat the uh, Diamond of the Alps views and uh, yeah, it's breathtaking up here. We love being here uh, and Google has meant quite a lot in your career, right? This place means a lot to you. Yeah, yeah, it's been my winter home for five years. They've, yeah, let, let me train here and do whatever I need to, to uh, become a good skier. and. I was so much, meant so much to me. I was supposed to be married here two years ago, but you know, Corona came and uh, unfortunately we had to wait. So, uh, Servus. Hey, it's your local knowledge. <laughs> hey. How are you doing, guys? Good, thank you. Good. You? Fine. You see the sun, you see the beautiful yeah, sights perfect. here. Yeah. So, do you remember all these mountains here? I'd love to say I remember them all, but not all of them. Okay. Yeah. So, in the back of you, you have the wonderful Hofers. Yeah. 